Hey everyone, and welcome to Let's Learn Premiere Pro. Today we're going to talk about how to edit faster. Specifically, we're going to talk about syncing clips faster, keyboard shortcuts, and that's why I have the keyboard up here so you can see what buttons I'm pushing, and bucketing your footage faster. Now there's a lot of times where you might have footage that has a slate in it like this. You could do it the old-fashioned way by scrubbing to the point where the clapper claps and do it by audio manually like that. Or you could use the really helpful synchronize function in Premiere Pro 2015. So you can see here I have my A cam and my B cam cameras we're recording audio it's going to be pretty easy to sync up now the synchronize function works by highlighting than two clips right clicking and pressing the synchronize option and we're going to sync by audio because it's the easiest one here and since the main audio is on track one we're going to select track one and click OK and now it's going to analyze the two audio tracks and their waveforms and sync them up perfectly and there you go now if we scrub back you'll be able to hear yeah, yeah. that the two are completely in sync. Yeah. Mark it. Mark it. We scrub to his dialogue here just to make sure. Childhood was a very happy childhood. And we can and see that yes, the audio is yeah, in yeah, sync, there isn't any echoes. Parents. If we turn on the Y, we're gonna see that yep, both and of the, the tracks uh, are in sync. I never and thought that one there's day no shift. I would do the same thing as That's the first thing you should do. And that's really going to speed up your prep before you get into the editing. The second thing we're going to talk about is shortcuts. And my favorite shortcut is the apply edit to all tracks. When you're going through a lot of footage, being able to drop a cut in real time saves you a lot of time later. And it cuts down on those sort of micro actions of clicking on a tool, clicking where you want to cut in the footage. It all adds up to a lot of time wasted when you could be doing it a lot more efficiently. So in this case, you could use the blade tool or the razor tool and place a cut where you need, and that's pretty laborious, or you can use the keyboard shortcut. And if you go to keyboard shortcuts and search edit, you'll find the command I'm using, which is control V for add edit to all tracks. And I think the default is something different for Premiere Pro, it's shift command K. I changed that because I find it a little laborious for your fingers when you're trying to do that shortcut. So I ended up switching it to Control v which will work on the Mac, obviously not on the PC, because of what Control v does. So you can see here I can just basically play the footage, drop an edit in, and as he goes through and I see little dips in his audio, probably where he completes a sentence or a thought, I drop another edit. And this is a good rule of thumb just for cleaning up interviews and, and parsing them out and sort of distilling down to what's important. Break up their interview questions into sentences, into thoughts, and drop edits in between because you can go back through and sort of basically quickly find what you are looking for and also isolate the best parts from the not so great parts. And where you see the dead space, that's obviously a question. And if you want to, you can either enable or disable it using the keyboard shortcut or the right click and enable. Or you can just delete it all together if you want to cut the questions out. That's also another good rule of thumb to start cleaning up your edits. You can definitely see where the questions are and where the answers are. So it's a bit of a shortcut to kind of like get to the meat of your interview quicker. Now what I usually like to do is basically play in real time or double speed and drop edits as I said between thoughts and I'm listening for some of the keywords that are relevant to the story I'm trying to create. I would basically repeat that and go through all of the answers in the interview cutting it all up and I would say and take out the questions and I can decide that I maybe I want to isolate things by giving space on a timeline and that's a good way to sort of organize your questions in chronological order and or you could create subsequences that relate to a specific topic and drop each answer to a question in there. This is particularly helpful with interview based productions where you have a subject and he's talking on one or a variety of subjects. You could basically isolate them and break them out into different sequences that you can refer back to later when you're pulling for your main edit. Basically I would just drop cuts like I said earlier in between all those thoughts I would listen through to them again and maybe if I find something that's particularly interesting I would highlight it and color coding is actually really helpful when you're trying to get a sense of what to keep and what not to keep 
or what to hone in on when you're looking at it from a wide level when you're looking at it from a very broad perspective and you have your footage sort of like all laid in a timeline you can zero in on that red clip or that orange clip and say okay let's start here first when trying to assemble a story or you can keep it all in the same timeline chop it up the way you want according to thoughts or according to interesting bits and give it the highlights as well red is usually the best and orange is sort of a leading contender soundbite but you can sort of classify things however works best for you so that's obviously an alternative to doing the window based editing where you might double click on a clip in your preview window set your in outs, do sub clips that's the way most people are taught but when you're pressed for time this is a more efficient approach and it applies to cutaways as well so we can take a cutaway like this which is basically a series and drop that in the timeline and basically scrub through drop edits where I think the shot is starting and where it restarts drop an edit probably there and that seems to be where it ends and then where it restarts and cut out the junk in between and I'm left with my three shots from a series and I've been able to cut it down pretty quickly a lot quicker and with a lot fewer actions than it would take if I were doing it with window editing now you can see I've done that for basically everything here and I've organized it by subject and I can quickly go through all these shots now if I find some specific shots that I really like again I can color code them so I know that these are interesting shots or these are some of the best in that location or in that series that I might want to use in the edit and from a broad perspective here I can see this red and this orange one are obviously some of the more interesting ones I thought you can also do this cool trick where you can drop a sequence above or below another sequence and have you know two timelines in your field of view so you can you, you can drag those cutaways to your main edit even quicker very efficient way of dragging in cutaways over top of your main interview edit. So again, the three things you can do to speed up your editing are synchronizing using the built-in synchronizer feature, and that will cut down a lot on prepping your footage before you start cutting up interviews. The second is keyboard shortcuts, and specifically the add edit to all tracks shortcut, which will allow you to drop edits on your footage, specifically interview footage, a lot faster. And the final one is bucketing your footage and that is based on either subject, place, or category and either spreading it out on the timeline in its own little clumps or creating subsequences that contain all of the footage that relates to that subject. With these three things you should be able to edit the majority of projects a lot faster and be able to pull together an edit that you're happy with in no time. So if you have any questions or want to know how to do something in Premiere Pro let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to make a video for you. Thanks.